What is up, Shane Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. I did start an intro this morning, and I even filmed going out with Jen when she went to go to her work to finish filling out papers and everything. It was pouring the rain. I couldn't really go do anything. But I did film an intro, but for some reason it didn't show up on my camera. So I don't know if I thought I was filming. I thought for sure I was filming. I did like a whole intro and I was showing you guys some like music and everything that I used to listen to when I was little. Like there was whole other clips that I did. <laughs> they disappeared. I had to come on here to start a whole new intro. It sucks. So I haven't vlogged for a couple hours because when we came home, we took a little nap. We ended up both end up falling asleep. Even though someone said, no, I'm just laying here. I didn't think I would fall asleep. You want to trade me? No. You fell asleep first. <laughs> you want to fall asleep. I'm so tired watching you sleep. So we're taking the trash out right now. It stopped raining. Yeah, you're wearing the most slippery type of shoes. No. Oh my god. I can't breathe. <laughs> Jen was laughing so hard she couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Are you good now? No. <laughs> oh, here it comes. I'm a hoot owl. You're a hoot owl. Yeah, I go. Ooh. Ooh. I can't breathe. I picked the camera up at the last minute, but she was just kept laughing and laughing. You should have done it when you bit my cheek. <laughs> I just started it on, then I farted on you, even though I said I'm gonna fart if you don't stop. And what happened? <laughs> I don't <wanna laughs> fart on you. As I said, don't do it. One way to make Jen laugh without even no. touching her is just do this. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you sound like a monkey. <laughs> Why are you torturing me for? Look, did you see I lost the nail? When did you do that? Last night. <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> well. What the hell? <laughs> I have went four days of going without drinking any type of soda. I've been drinking teas, like lemon tea and water with lemonade. The only soda I have is Sprite. But Sprite is no caffeine. So basically four days I have went without no caffeine. So this will be technically the first soda I will drink in four days because it's a Sprite. So I'm going to basically consider it as a soda. And I think that's another reason why I'm feeling so blah. My body's so used to having like caffeine. I'm feeling like all tired and sleepy and just feeling not really motivated because I don't have that caffeine to give me that energy that I usually have. I think that maybe that's possibly a side effect of not drinking caffeine. So maybe if I just keep ignoring it and get my body used to not needing that caffeine that maybe I'll stop feeling like that. Since I didn't get to really record a lot today because it was mostly raining all day, I am going to set up the camera and me and Jen is going to do a Q&A for you guys. A couple of you actually commented on my Facebook status a couple of questions that you wanted us to answer. I also have questions that we can answer that's for like vlogs and YouTube videos and stuff like that. I think that will be really interesting for everybody because you can get to know us a lot more. I can get to know Jen 
I can get to know myself a lot more. It's been a while since I've done a Q&A. You're probably wondering, well, why haven't I been drinking any soda if I need that caffeine? As you guys know, I got sick. I guess the sickness messed with my taste buds. Two years ago, me and Jen ended up getting COVID. We lost our taste and smell. Well, we got our taste and smell back for like a couple of days. And then our taste buds just completely changed. Everything that we ate, it would taste so horrible. We couldn't eat hamburger or chicken. We went a whole two months without eating any type of meat because the smell of it would smell like it was something dead. The taste of it was even worse. Then eventually our taste buds started getting better and better. Well, last year was the first year out of two years that we were actually able to eat a real hamburger. Hamburgers from McDonald's and Wendy's. Like we were actually able to eat them. Anyways, where I got sick, it was just, I guess, a, just a cold and a regular sickness because I didn't have COVID. I took a COVID test. But I guess where my sickness, it messed with my taste buds because my sinuses. I can't drink Pepsi now. I can't drink Mountain Dew. I can't drink Coke. It all tastes like cedar from, like, stuff that you put in with gerbils. That's what it smells like and that's what it tastes like. And it's so gross. I'm back to stage one with drinking Pepsi and Mountain Dew. Because... There for a while, I couldn't drink Pepsi or Mountain Dew, and then my taste buds started to get better, and I could actually drink Pepsi and Mountain Dew. And now, so far the only soda I know that I can drink right now is root beer, Sprite, and like orange soda. That Sprite is gonna be the first soda I've had in four days. Let's hope that I can actually still taste Sprite. That would suck if Sprite ended up tasting so gross. you guys can hear us because there is a fan like that blows right behind us hopefully this is the right angle i posted a facebook status and i think a couple people have asked a couple questions so we're gonna go ahead and answer their questions first soon soon but soon not like tomorrow or the next couple months i guess i'll marry you she's so mean he <laughs> you been mean to me all day <laughs> but picking with you that's me mean who is your favorite youtuber mine would be lance stewart lance to 10 shane dawson and rylan and morgan i love their videos too like there's so many other youtubers i love but my main favorite one is Lance Through 10 because he's the one who motivated me to start doing vlogs. He's like my twin, but I'm the poor version. And Roman. Oh uh, yeah, and Roman Atwood. I haven't watched him in a minute though. Does nobody ever post anymore? Mine's Shane Dawson and Ryland. I just love them. Oh, and Sam and Colby. I oh, love yes. Sam and Colby. I was just talking about them today. See, there's like so many YouTubers I love, but Sam Colby is like has to be like my second, second, third favorite. What is your favorite place that you video? Press Center. So Jen's favorite is the Press Center. That thing was creepy and weird. Oh, and I guess the question goes with two questions like together. What's your favorite place that you videoed and would you go back again? Yes. Jen wants to go back <laughs> to the Press <Pristera's laughs> Center. <laughs> I want to find ghosts. I've, I've been thinking about trying to figure out where we can go to like a ghost hunt and stuff besides the cemetery because like cemeteries freak me out <laughs> well now i know the perfect place to take you no 
<laughs> no. <laughs> they freak me out. There's a bunch, there is dead people there. I don't know. Maybe we should go to a cemetery. I've been wanting to go to a cemetery. I think it would be really cool and a really cool experience. And just to see, like, if we do ever hear anything or if it's scary, like, as people say it is when you go to a cemetery. Maybe we can try it. So maybe you all will be looking forward to a video of that going to a cemetery. My favorite video that I filmed, it was a long time ago, it was the school, not the school, but uh, the abandoned hospital that was up in Melbourne. Oh my god. That place. I forgot all about that. I think that would have been my most favorite place that I explored. It used to be a hospital for children and then it was a hospital for older people. And then it turned into a psych ward, and, and now they're fixing it up and turning it into something now. So Isn't I have no that idea. the one that you deleted? No, we have some videos of it. We have some videos of yeah. it. Yeah. And I would definitely go back if it was still abandoned and not being worked on right now. But I imagine what it looks like when they actually get done with it. Because I've heard so many stories that it's going to be a hotel, it's going to be like a old people home but if it ever turned into a hotel we were definitely going to go there and try to stay there because that place has to have some some activity i would love to see it see when i first went there i wasn't really into like ghosts or paranormal or anything i was just going there to explore it would be a whole different experience going there knowing what all about the paranormal and everything like that you can't see our feet can you we shouldn't no feet pictures. <laughs> Not for free, at least. You know, I noticed something on your foot. Your foot has a hump in it. Huh? Your foot. Has what? A hump. On the top of my foot? Mm hmm Is it not supposed to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I don't I know. It's just weird. I just thought it was normal. You have weird feet. <laughs> Thanks. You're Where are three places you would love to go? and make a video. There's actually two places that I would love to be able to go. And one of them, I would love to go to an insane asylum and explore. Like an abandoned insane asylum, one of the huge insane asylums that has like so much history. Find the most haunted one. I think there is actually one somewhere in the United States that's actually really haunted. The West Virginia one. I just went down in West Virginia, Kentucky or somewhere. I want to go to the West Virginia Penitentiary. That's that, a good one. And that one that we watched, I think it was Sam and Colby. Yeah. And then another place I would love to go to is the same place that Jen's been wanting to go is Lake Shawnee. Lake the, Shawnee, The yeah. abandoned amusement park. Yep, I want to go there too. I've heard that that place is so haunted and everything too. One day we're going to go there. <laughs> Those are the two places that I would love to be able to go to. What's another place that... Or is it the same as mine? Uh, the same as yours. I want to go somewhere haunted. I've been watching too many ghost videos right now. <laughs> <clears throat> and the question that goes along with that question is, would it be a spooky video or a yes. fun video? It would It'd be spooky. It would be a fun video, but also scary at the same time. I think, yeah, I think we would make it comical. Yeah. <laughs> I think we would try. That was the only people that I really sent us questions so I decided to go on Google and find like a list of questions. You see that's why everybody texts me. Do you see how many text messages you have that's unread? <laughs> 17 messages that are unread. I don't even have I can't even see messenger yet. 12. This is why people reach out to me more than you. Because I just don't think to talk to people back. I, why? I forget to. Oh my god. Why do you stay on that number thing on your phone? Because I don't stay on my phone, so I kind of like ignore mm -mm. it. Mm -mm. I will eventually get better at talking and messaging people back. Okay, so number one question. Where is your favorite place to go on vacation? I've only went to vacation with my family when I was younger, so I don't really have a favorite place. But a place I would love to go on vacation would be, like, the beach. Where's the beach? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I got you watching too much Jersey Shore. <laughs> Where's the beach? It would have to be the beach, like Florida, or somewhere that's always warm. Nowhere that's cold. I've always heard bad things about Myrtle Beach, but I want to go to Myrtle Beach. I've never been. I hear so many bad things about it, but I'm like, I don't care. I want to go. 
Plus, like, I, I want to go to the New Jersey beach. I want to go stay in the New Jersey Shore house. Ooh, yes. That would be so cool. So, you want to pick a question? I want like, pick one. Yeah, there's, like, so many, so. What is a talent nobody knows that you have? I mean, a lot of people on my channel doesn't know that I have a talent of drawing. But some of you might know, and then some of you might not know, but I used to draw a lot before I started picking up the camera. Like, when I was younger, I wanted to grow up to be a tattoo artist, and I was big into tattoos, but then I got introduced to Lance and everything, so I kind of dropped that and picked up the camera. Sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> What's your secret talent? I can twist my tongue. Ah. Oh. And my arm goes like this. You're deformed. <laughs> well, see how, like, it's, it's not really weird. a talent. Yeah, it, I mean, recovery. basically it is, like, a talent because Here. nobody else can do that. Pull this. Pull my sweater. So, it looks like... Ugh. <laughs> it looks like you broke your arm. It's just... I think it's <laughs> double-jointed. So, like, straight would be... There. That's not straight, though. This is straight. For me. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, for me, like, looking at it, this would be your arm straight. And for some reason, your arm goes more down. <laughs> That's weird. That's about it. I don't really have I don't even know how you do the tongue thing. Can you touch your tongue? <laughs> uh. No, I can't do that. How long would you last on a deserted island? 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes? Wait, do I have cell phone service and a plug-in? You're on an island. You're not going to have a plug-in. Islands have plug-ins? It says a deserted island. So there's no electricity? No, there's nothing. 20 minutes. <laughs> I think I could last a long time, but I probably would not last because I would starve to death. Because I'm always hungry. I would die without food. You would pick some poison berries because they look delicious. <laughs> that's, that's how I would die. Eating poison berries. That's how you would die. Because you're hungry and you're like, ooh, berries. I would last 20 minutes. There ain't no way. Mm -mm. I'm too spoiled. It is your turn. Where would you go first if you could teleport? Where would I go first? Mm -hmm. If I could teleport anywhere, I would choose to go to Egypt. Because I would love to see the desert and all of the pyramids and like the Egyptian mummies and everything. That'd be cool. I want to go to Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica? Yeah. Or like Bora Bora. And you think be happy <laughs> would you rather be able to fly or read minds fly I probably would choose flying too because reading people's minds that would be a lot imagine like being in a crowd of people you're gonna be hearing everybody's thoughts and everything so it's gonna be really overwhelming so I would honestly go with flying because I would love to be able to fly anywhere I want to yeah, that's kind of, that's what I was thinking. And plus fly. you would feel free, like you have that freedom. The wind in your face and... What is your nightly routine? I mean, my nightly routine right now is I transfer my files. I try to start editing around 8. I edit till about mm, maybe 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I go to bed. I always make sure to try to brush my teeth, but sometimes, sometimes I forget to brush my teeth. I get in some comfy clothes. What do you do? I think I just go to bed when I feel like I want to sleep. I mean, I get my PJs, I'll be, I don't, I don't think it's a certain time. I don't think I have a night I routine. You Except, do. I do. When you get ready to go to bed, you come into the room, chill for a few, and you play on your phone. And then you'll get up, put on some comfy clothes that you want to sleep in, go lay back down, play on TikTok, and you lay there until you fall asleep. You do that every night. <laughs> I didn't realize I did it every night. Yeah, you have a routine. I thought I didn't last mm. night. Yeah, you played on your phone last night. <laughs> you got remember. up and got comfy clothes, went to bed, laid down, and played on your phone. Oh, I guess you're right, I did. <laughs> I didn't even know I did. Sometimes I'll grab a pad, wash my face. How long would you survive a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah, I would last a good while because Left 4 Dead Zoom has prepared me to chop zombies' heads off. <laughs> I am well prepared. 
had years of experience. I'm well, ready. At least I know I would be protected. You will. I've had years <laughs> of practice. The zombie comes running. I just... Jen, there's a zombie! I'll get him. I'm ready. <laughs> I have an axe in one hand, a shotgun in the other. I think I, I would be able to survive for a long time. I'm a very sneaky person. I can sneak around. I'm very quiet. So I can think I can sneak into a Walmart, get all that kinds of food, and then sneak back to the house. And like, we just have like this little room that we all stay in. Do you think you go to Walmart and it's all the apocalypse? That's why you carry around a shotgun and a baseball bat. Okay. You I think mean, I'm just going to go without having well, any? Well, no, no, like there's rules. There's rules when it comes to zombie apocalypse. Yeah, if I get bit, you have to leave me. Well, that's not the only rule. <laughs> I know I wouldn't leave you. So you're gonna keep me even if I turn into a zombie? Yeah, I would try to like get the poison out of you. And then I would like lock you up in a special room. I'll make like a designated zombie room for you. So that we can just keep you. I would keep you even if you were a shitty zombie. Would you keep me? Yeah. You sure? I would. Okay. So what are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Have you ever ding dong ditched? Yes. Oh, we're gonna have to have you do it. We're 30, but let's do it. <laughs> I would love to go into an apartment building and like run down the hallway, and just like knock on everybody's door and then run and hide. Oh my god. But I've never ding dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. Oh, we gotta do it. I know the next time that we do a QA, it'll be a lot better because we'll actually get it like a table and set it all up and have like a background, make it look all nice. What social media would you get rid of? If I had to choose, I probably would get rid of Twitter because there's really not much to do on Twitter, like besides update your statuses. And but it's so hard to get followers on Twitter. You go on any other social media, you can add people, you can follow people, and you gain followers. But Twitter, you like you literally have to be famous or really popular or have something to go viral to be able to get followers on Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I I have a Twitter, don't use it. There's like so many more questions. If we did all the questions, it's going to be like a one hour video. I know today wasn't really a good vlog. There really wasn't much to do today because it was raining all day today and it was kind of chilly. And if any of you all ever have any more questions that you would like to ask, maybe we can do another Q&A on another rainy day and we'll answer all your all's questions. Or if you guys ever have any suggestions of what we could do for a video when we can't go outside. Yeah, challenges, games, anything. The one challenge I wanna do is the eat it or wear it again because... Oh my gosh, that one was so funny, but <laughs> gross. <laughs> it was so much fun, but we have to do that outside. Yeah. We could not do that in here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.